Would you rather be pulled over by a police officer in Canada or the United States? Full disclosure, I've been pulled over in the United States as a police officer, but I've also pulled people over from the United States in Canada. The experiences were very different than what I was used to. I'm gonna share those experiences, but also I'm gonna share a very interesting story. Well, 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 what do we got here? Okay, I can only speak for myself here, okay? My experiences will be different than your experiences. Every vehicle stop is different because the circumstances of the vehicle stop are unique. Maybe you've heard the term routine traffic stop. You hear about that in the media and such. There's no such thing as a routine traffic stop because every vehicle stop is different. Different set of circumstances, different officer, different vehicle occupants, different driver. So why am I even asking this? What's the difference? Who cares? A police officer is a police officer. It's because of the replies, the responses to my posts across all social media platforms. A common theme is that police officers in Canada are much more polite. However, our rules of the road for driving are much more strict and our fines are a lot higher. Talking about monetary fines are a lot higher. At the same time, police officers from the United States are apparently much more aggressive in their approach overall. However, their laws are much more lax in terms of distracted driving, fines, speeding and such, uh, stunt driving. The fines are less monetarily, but the cops are more aggressive in their approach. Now I've interacted with police officers from all over North America, the United States, of course, all over the world. I would have to say that most of my interactions and the connections I've that I've made have been with officers from larger cities or municipalities. Uh, not so much small towns where you would hear of a sheriff and deputy and such. Most of my, uh, most of what I know about that is what I see in TV shows and in movies like everybody else. I want to share a story of a vehicle stop that I conducted many years ago. It was in a residential neighborhood during the day. The driver who was also the registered owner and the passenger uh, were both from the United States. Anyways, the vehicle was going very slow. As I passed the vehicle, I noticed the windows were extremely dark. They were tinted to the max. I couldn't see inside. I did a U-turn and I noticed that the plates were from Florida. I initiated my rooftop lights, uh, vehicle pulled to the right, everything was great. As I approached the vehicle, both the driver's side front window and the passenger side window were down. The driver had one hand on the steering wheel and he was holding his wallet with his other hand. The passenger had both hands on the dashboard. I had no clue why they were like that. I mean, they were visibly shaken just by the whole interaction, even though they actually didn't do anything wrong. And they were a couple of real nice guys, I had a great conversation. So I asked them after just a little bit of small talk what the deal was and that's basically what they were expected to do in the area of Florida where they were at. And I'll say that after this whole interaction, there was no tickets given out, nothing. They were actually uh, looking for uh, an address. They had the street name right, but the wrong municipality. So basically they were just lost. And anyways, they uh, let me know that this was the most amazing interaction they've ever had with a police officer their entire lives. And I, I mean, listen, I guess so. Now, the last time I got pulled over in the States, was uh, I wasn't the driver. I was a passenger in the rear seat. There was a front seat passenger and a driver. Saw the lights, driver was speeding, got pulled over for speeding. I told him he would, by the way. Anyways, cop pulled us over, license hires, pulled to the right. This officer was completely jacked up, approached the car very slowly, and I was in the back seat, rolled the windows down. He had his hand on his gun the entire time and was looking back and it was dark at night. He had his flashlight going, just like you would actually see in the movies, a flashlight and everything in the eyes, hand on the gun like he was ready to draw. Anyways, and which of course, what did that do to us? It, it made, it elevated my mood almost to where his was. Anyways, again, I'm not saying that this is where every cop, every police vehicle stop is in the States, but this was my experience. This was the last experience that I've had in the States. Long story short, we were let go, um, speeding. Uh, I was a police officer, the, there was another police officer in the vehicle, and uh, anyways, it was a great interaction. The driver was not a cop. Anyways, it was just kind of interesting to see the officer's demeanor, the fact that he started up here, brought me right up here as well. And naturally it would, you didn't wanna make any sudden moves, you didn't wanna grab anything, whatever the case is, because you genuinely didn't know what was gonna happen. 
And it's one of those things where, you know, I've told this story a few times and other people have had somewhat similar interactions, but it always kind of made me think of how I would approach a vehicle and how I did approach a vehicle at a traffic stop and everything else. Anyways, I just wanted to bring this up because I can't believe how many people in the comments say that thousands of comments, how different police officers are in Canada and the US. Much more approachable in Canada. However, the fines are a lot more expensive for distracted driving and everything else. Police officers in the US, much more aggressive or unapproachable. However, you can get away with a lot more. If you have experiences you'd like to share, please leave a comment. If you're a police officer and you agree with me or disagree with me, or you just want to add to the conversation, please do so. A lot of times these videos, they lead to uh, a much broader conversation through podcasts and, and everything else, uh, which is certainly a good thing. Anyways, folks, be safe out there, drive safe, look after one another, and perhaps we will see you again.